Hey, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Coin Op TV subscribers, Robert Walkner here with another Coin Op TV live and interactive. We're going to talk Lego Dimension news that came from the San Diego Comic Con and beyond. Maybe there's even more news that dropped, uh, you know, post San Diego Comic Con. Today is Monday. It's like the day after Comic Con. The floodgates were open. During the San Diego Comic Con, we got to see some new images. Um, a lot of people from the team were there. And I got my man Dan from the Bricks to Life. Website. What's going on, man? <laughs> always, house. always truly a joy to be here with you, Rob. I wasn't sure if I cut to you too early. I, you know, I was just no, like, you no, know. no. I'm just doing a little bit of retweeting myself at the moment, so uh, <laughs> to, to, to let everyone know that we're live because everyone loves to hang out with us because we're so cool. Yes, yes. So speaking of that, let me give some quick shout outs and we're going to get into some images, some news, some recaps, some opinions, some thoughts. We got Dio Santos, G Nation, Logan, Mark, Marnes, Ronan, Seth, Shaw, TMP, whose birthday apparently is tomorrow, Toy Movie Game Bros, who's at Comic-Con that was tweeting me uh, during Comic-Con. Uh, so uh, let me know in the comments below if thing, things look and sound uh, good with the picture and, the, and things like that. So, Dan, uh, we're going to talk some LEGO Dimensions. Let me get some images up here to just kick things off. Uh, Warner Brothers was the secret spot <laughs> that had the, uh, the team packs and the story packs and the new stuff to sort of show off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So the Warner Brothers booth this year uh, at Comic-Con uh, unveiled some new packs, particularly the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them uh, a story pack, as well as the fun pack that we had never seen before, and we got to see them live and in person. So the picture you have up right now are some of the packs that they uh, have already announced, and Scooby-Doo is from year one. So oh, yes, yes. We got the Scooby-Doo. Well, we want to keep those Scooby-Doo snacks around, you know, to get gotta, in a Got to keep those gizmo. Scooby-Doo snacks. Yeah, so that we can feed those to Gizmo, right? Yeah, right. Because there's a little Easter egg hidden in there. Uh, there's lots of um, there's lots of year one and year two interaction Easter eggs that they've kind of hinted at. So, uh, but there, yeah, there we go. There is the story pack for Fantastic Beasts. It's got Mac USA's um, or the uh, the Magical Congress of the USA, uh, and uh, and it's got a Niffler there. It's super cool. I love that. Uh, I love that pack. It looks gorgeous. Really, really excited. So I'm, I haven't read the books yet for the the prequels or whatever. I'm not that familiar with some of the character names, but um, the new trailer, they also showed a new trailer. Looks like tons of fun for the Fantastic Beasts and where to find yeah, them. Yeah, so there is no there's no book that, you have to, that there is to read yet. This is an uh, original story, so you don't have to feel bad about any of that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm all caught up technically. Yeah, yeah. New, Newt Scamander is uh, from... Uh, he wrote the book, which was a textbook that the kids used in the uh, in the in the Harry Potter world. And so, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is a textbook, uh, and um, and written by Newt. And so, that's the Newt minifigure there. And then um, and then there's the Niffler. And what I really dig about this, uh, the Fantastic Beasts pack, is that the the it's all about beasts. You know what I mean? Hence the name of the movie. And uh, and so the 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 vehicle or gadget that comes with this story pack and the one that comes with the fun pack with, with Tina, both of those little beastie kind of creatures transform into other beasts, not just like weird other vehicles or stuff like that. They actually transform into other different uh, animals from the magical movie, which I think is really cool. Nice, nice. Now, for those uh, maybe kind of in the know, not in the know or kind of catching up, Lego Dimensions came out last year uh, in so September, I believe, and now there's going to be sort of new waves, new expansion. We're going to get level packs, story packs, character packs, fun packs, lots of packs coming in. You can continue on from your original game, your original your original toy pad. These are sort of add-ons to expand the the universe. Is that a good way? Am I making it clear there? Yeah, absolutely. And it's an, it's it's not it's not a different story. It's actually an expansion upon the original story. This isn't, you know, Lego Dimensions 2.0. Uh, this isn't, you know, a new Lego Dimensions uh, a game. This is the still the same story following Gandalf, Batman, Wildstyle, chasing after Lord, uh, you know, Lord Vorton uh, and uh, not... Uh, but still, so the new story packs, the Ghostbusters story packs, the... the um, Fantastic Beasts, the Lego Batman, it's actually going to have a thorough storyline that goes through all of them that continues the, 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 um, that continues the, the, the storyline from year one. So it's kind of cool that they're doing this and they're keeping that main story, the main starter pack going. 
and they, so this is the story pack here with the uh, Fantastic Beasts will have like a six levels or six hours or something like that. Where sort of yep, six levels. Story. Each story pack is going to feature six different levels, which I think is cool. And I, I believe they said that uh, it will actually retell the entire story. So the Ghostbuster story pack for Wave Six, the uh, Fantastic Beasts for Wave Seven, it's going to be the full story of the movie. You're going to be able to play through. All right, so let's go. Let's go. Stop, jump ahead here. We got another image. Okay, so this was sort of a new reveal at Comic Con, right? The, yes. Uh, Tina Fun Pack. Yeah, yeah. Well, technically speaking, the Fantastic Beasts. Both the packs are new reveals. They were uh -huh. leaked about a week earlier in that uh, Argos or something. The the UK publication that like says, "Here's all the toys coming out that you you know for <laughs> for like wholesale distributors," but. Um, uh, Tina is uh, is the supporting character to uh, to Newt in the Fantastic Beasts, and uh, they've got the cool swooping evil uh, vehicle there that she comes along with. So very very cool, very interesting. Uh, I think it looks kind of uh, awesome. Yeah, she looks pretty cool. Let's see, we got a question. We got a bunch of new people jumping in chat. Shout out to Brickster and. Um... Uh, eGamer uh, from Preston says, so since there's 16 franchises, that mean there's going to be 16 new story levels? Um, I'm not sure that's quite the case, that we'll get 16 new. It'll be like the Ghostbusters, the Mission Impossible, Fantastic yeah. Beasts. They're departing from the, 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 the setup they had in year one, where the main storyline uh, visited all the different franchises, more or less. Um, it's not going to be that way now. Uh, we're going to get a handful of level packs like Sonic! I'm super duper excited for Sonic, man. I can't even wait. Did you, uh, we'll talk about it in just a second. But essentially, <laughs> they're going to try to, they're kind of trying to uh, move away from having a a, a a thorough line story that has all of the all the franchises in it to paring those ideas down and focusing on core level packs and core story packs um, uh, to, to kind of like really feature some of the franchises. So... So yeah, so we had so Friday night during Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con, they had a Sonic party celebrating 25 years, I believe, of Sonic goodness. And uh, Arthur and the gang, uh, one of the other developers, came out to present kind of the Sonic um, and the voice. I believe, let's see, um, Roger Craig Smith, I yep. believe, was there, and they were sort of showing off some Sonic goodness. I have some screenshots. Let's see, I have a few of these. Here we go. So we got some Sonic screenshots so this will be uh let me just back up a bit this is going to be a level pack okay so full-on level pack unlike the story pack so dan what is the what is the difference between a story pack and a level pack going into year two of lego dimensions yeah so a, a story pack is going to feature six levels and a level pack is going to be just like the level packs were in year one where it's just a, it's just a featured level um but what they're promising is that the level packs this year um are going to be more expansive it's going to there's going to be more gameplay featured in the in the level pack versus how they were in year one so um uh, i'm super excited about this and then on top of that you're going to get those those battlegrounds all those battle um the battle arenas that um uh, weren't even a part of year one, so that's going to be exciting. Yeah, the new ad, one of the new things. If you got a gold base, it'll have a four-player uh, battle mode or capture the flag or battling. Uh, let's see, we got some. Uh, Mark says he loves some of your your Muppet stuff, Daniel. So that's cool. Thanks, Muppet Mark. Stuff. Uh, SGN in chat says, "How much is the starter pack now compared to release? If it changes at all? Well, things are a little cheaper and things are on discount." Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so I think uh, you can. The price has been officially dropped, right? Yep, yep, yep. Price has been dropped by forty dollars up until the release of Wave Six, which is pretty exciting. Uh, so for the rest of the summer, the packs will be forty dollars off. And if you visit um, bricks2life.com/deals, I keep a recap of every retailer, major retailer, and the lowest prices you can find, uh, so that you can save all your money and price match. So, um, and then to answer someone in the uh, chat, I um, asked. Uh, what the Sonic car transforms into. Um, head over to bricks2life.com and you can see a nice little article all about Sonic and uh, what his vehicles transform into. Uh, we got a nice little close-up of the back of the box. I'm like the back of the box king. Thanks to my man Rob for, for, the, for some back of the box support there <laughs> with the story pack. Yes, uh, I, had to, I had to fight and claw my way to get to the back yeah. of the boxes. Rob, for, Rob, for like, Rob literally ninjagoed his way into the WB booth and, uh, and got me some, some sweet scoops. So uh, <laughs> it was pretty sweet. 
I use my spin jitsu. And then also, yeah, um, <laughs> so, so yeah you want to check out Dan's site, brickstolife.com. And then also stick around towards the end of this. We're going to talk about a little giveaway that Dan is doing as well. So that's exciting. Yeah, kind of, I love kind of giving relating, stuff away. Yeah, kind of relating to Comic Con and stuff like that. So let me get back into the images here. So Toy Movie Game Bros, who's in chat, actually tweeted me this photo. Uh, you know, this is from the Sonic party and stuff like that. So that's cool. So let's go through some of the Sonic images because we had a full-on trailer. We got to see him in action. Uh, he's, he can run. <laughs> he can he can kick. He can move. He can collect coins. Um, he could he could uh, you know stomp things. Really, Sonic looks like he's gonna—he's definitely gonna be highly anticipated uh, character added to the Lego Dimensions universe. Uh, here we go, and him and Homer Simpson chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some of these great, some of these great pictures. Uh, one of the—did you see? Have you seen the Sonic trailer yet from the uh, from the big premiere? Yes, yes, yes. And so the big, the big reveal, which everyone went nuts for, is that he can transform into, he can go supersonic. Uh, oh, yes, and go, yes. And go gold, and, you know, he, he like, jumps in the air and, like, harnesses the, the Chaos Emeralds and then turns supersonic. Man, I could just hear the crowd go wild at that premiere. It was so, so cool. So uh, I, I, think that, I think that this um, will, this is going to bring, I mean, there's a cult of people who love Sonic. Right, uh, and so this is going to just bring people in galore. I, I think this is every one of these franchises they're bringing out for year two is just going to have their core fan bases just coming. It's it's crazy. It's it's so awesome what they're doing. Yeah, a lot of uh, a, a lot of fun franchises, a lot of eighties, nineties, a lot of like classic franchises coming to the game. Uh, let's see, Logan and Chat says, "Oh, you're also Disney Infinity Codes." Yes, Dan is bricks to life. Infinity Codes. He lives. He wears many hats as an entertainer. Uh, Portal Master Evan says, "Hey, Rob, what's up? Did you see the new Lego Batman?" Said, "We'll talk about Lego Batman stuff uh, maybe after we get through all the Lego Dimensions stuff. Oh man, that does tie into Lego Dimensions as well. But I don't have images for that, so we could talk about it verbally. Uh, let me get back to some of the photos." here uh, let's see Superman and Sonic all right so so who's gonna win the race here Dan Sonic or Superman oh I don't know that's not a question I'm, I'm at liberty to answer qualify we don't want to you know hurt hurt any feelings what, what I'm more interested in seeing is when flash eventually makes it into the game I want to see flash and Sonic go at it and yes. race Yes, Flash. Flash would be a good one here. Here we go. Looks like Sonic revving up. Uh, yeah, I did. I didn't notice the Super Sonic. So I was watching Blitzwinger was doing a, a friend of mine YouTuber was doing kind of a recap of the trail, and then at the end he was like, "Oh, I got the Super Sonic." So that was that was pretty cool. I see Abe is in chat, and then says Flash will win. It's certified. If Abe says Flash will win. In chat, it is a certified done deal. All right, let me get on to the next image here. So here's uh, this is something else I grabbed on Twitter. We got a little look at some of the Gremlins, the ET. Um, yeah, so this is the first picture of the of the ET uh, and Gremlins packs in the wild and being able to see their vehicles and gadgets. And so ET's phone home, and then uh, uh, you got Gizmo's sports car there, and and then um, you got the 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 flash and finish uh, camera there from the from the Gremlins uh, team pack. So very cool. Cool picture that they revealed for sure. Yeah, and I'll have some right at the end. I have some box art or some you know official art of these as well. We just kind of we're just kind of jumping through the images. So yeah, so let's talk about uh, Stripe and Gizmo. Um, you know, we we knew about them already, but now we're sort of seeing more images of them. Uh, what does it say on the back there? Now showing Ghost Smashers. <laughs> Is that like a play on yeah. Ghostbusters or something? I, like I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I can't remember off the top of my head what the movie was. I guess I can do a quick little Google foo. What the movie was that they were watching? Because uh, uh, they did crash a movie theater in the movie, I believe. But I can't, yeah. I can't remember at the top off the top of my head. Oh yeah, that was the the classic scene. Is uh, yeah, they're all in the movie theater, swinging from the rooftops and the ceilings, to throwing popcorn and drinking booze and partying. Uh, you know, and then they all get mesmerized by the by the movie when it starts. If you guys are young and you haven't seen the first Gremlins movie, definitely. Uh, you know, definitely check it out. It's, it's. I think that's the thing that uh, Lego Dimensions might do the most this year. Is not only is it going to make a fun game, but if you're kind of young and unfamiliar with some of these properties, right, Dan, we're going to get introduced to uh, you know a whole lot of things. Gremlins, Goonies, A Team. I got some A Team images coming up in a second. Yeah, there's there's going to be a lot of stuff for for uh, a, a generation that has not been able to uh, that that did not grow up with this stuff. So it's going to be really great to see that reintroduced to a lot of people. So let's see. Let's get through some more of the gremlin stuff here. We got. It looks like Harlequin is a little, a little uh, nervous around Gizmo there. You know, that's kind of an interesting shot that they put together. 
Yeah, don't want to feed him. <laughs> yeah, don't feed him. It looks like it's getting dark, so you don't want to feed old uh, Gizmo there. Trevon in chat says, what's new for Teen Titans Go? Haven't seen anything new or any figures yet for Teen Titans Go other than kind of, you know, kind of the announcement and stuff in the trailer. So we're, we're eagerly awaiting some Teen Titans Go stuff. Sean in chat says, Ghost Smasher was the original titles of Ghost vs. Oh, okay, so maybe we got a little throwback to the original Ghostbusters movie. Okay, so let's talk about the A-Team. Uh, now, I know that if you guys are young in chat, you probably haven't seen the A-Team. I'm not sure if they're rerunning this on the... Uh, you know, TV uh, land or anything like that. But uh, I, when I was a kid, I watched May Team. Some B.A. Baracus was uh, kicking butt and taking names. Were you a fan of the the A Team at all, there, Dan? Uh, you know, it wasn't wasn't uh, my my gig. You know, I think I was a little. I'm a little too young to be a big fan of the A Team. You know, but uh, uh, I was very familiar with them, and I know them. And I've seen many episodes, and I think that they're pretty swell. So I'm pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty excited. And they also dropped a new trailer that's on Lego Dimensions' official uh, YouTube channel, uh, where uh, uh, Luffy Space Princess from Adventure Time kind of like brags about being friends with the A Team and uh, introduces them all. So it'll be pretty cool to see and play yeah. this uh, for sure. And I was going to ask you, so I saw that trailer today. I watched that with Lumpy and the A-Team, and it looked like it showed all four cast members of the A-Team, but so far we've only seen the BA figure. Do you think that BA is going to just unlock the ability to yep. play, play as all the characters? Is that kind of yep, how it's yep. working? I think that uh, LEGO Dimensions will move a lot, uh, towards that a lot more uh, as time goes on to introduce more franchises without having to inter- add the cost of all those packs. Uh, and then also, the, you know, they only have X amount of figures and, and that they can like slot in to their releases and so if they were going to do every a team then that would maybe have taken away from another franchise they could have done you know or could have included as a pack so i'm sure that um just similar to how like sloth will unlock all of the goonies uh that uh ba Brockus will be able to um you know unlock the rest of the a team all right let's move on okay so here we got some adventure time what time is it dan adventure time right adventure time man yeah i'm super excited for all of this um the the land of ooh i think really lends itself well to the lego world and uh, i think that the humor uh will carry over uh, beautifully and i'm super excited for marceline and uh, and lumpy space princess you know jake and finn it's going to be pretty awesome yeah, this world, uh, like the colors and the art direction uh, that they put together, like it just really stands out. Kind of like the way the Simpsons uh, world was, where it was just like very cartoony and colorful. I mean, people people got to remember, you know, video games are supposed to be colorful and fun and bright and and just eye eye catching and stuff like that. And this Adventure Time. Uh, section looks pretty cool so we got confirmation of marceline there and uh, here's some more images of jake and finn so it's pretty cool they announced that with finn uh when he is playing he will have the ability to switch between any of the many swords that he's wielded in the in the tv series like the demon sword and and uh, the hero sword and stuff so very very cool and then they also showed off that jake will have the ability to transform into very into many many different things uh while playing with him as in the game uh to be able to solve certain riddles and puzzles and stuff like that so i love the fact that they've got those two um kind of uh features going for these characters that they have like a a massive catalog of of moves or weapons that they can use because i think it's really really cool so a question for you dan now so marceline apparently is going to be a toys r us uh, exclusive much like the uh, non-ninjago character is that uh, a timed exclusive is that a forever exclusive what do we know so if far? you if you check out the press release and i uh, i think i have it up right here at the end of the press release that they send it to us fine folks uh they uh us, us press us presses um uh hold on let me look here at the end of it they they said in it that the um that the that Marceline, sure, the pack will release in North America first at Toys R Us. So I don't know if you if you you can maybe read into that and say it's going to release uh, at Toys in Toys R Us first, and then it'll make its way to other uh, places. But I believe Jay was the Toys R Us exclusive for year one, and I have yet to see him available at any other store. So I wouldn't hold my breath, and I would probably guess that for North America, you're going to have Marceline at. Toys R Us that she's just going to be there f- until something changes majorly. <laughs> I see P Diddy Sports in chat. What's going on? And FC203 has joined us. Thanks for jumping in. Uh, me and Dan are talking, recapping some Lego Dimension news and hype from the San Diego Comic-Con that just went down. Okay, let's move on here. 
Uh, so hey, we got some lumpy action. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I love that they really kept, mm -hmm. we were able to capture the original voice actors too for these. So very, yeah, very I, great. Yes, let's see. We, yeah, John DiMaggio, voice of Jake. Uh, Roger Craig Smith, voice of Sonic. Um, yeah, yes, a lot of voice it. voice actors there. Um, they had a panel. Uh, Greg Miller from Kind of Funny Games hosted sort of the panel that was on Sunday. Uh, yeah. Let's move on here. Okay, so now we got some product packs. These are official non photoshopped bootlegs here. <laughs> uh, yes. So we got the ET Fun Pack. So what do you got with the ET Fun Pack here, Dan? Uh, you get the, uh, the the phone home device, which is uh, really, really cool. And then it can be uh, rebuilt into the mobile uplink and the supercharged satellite. So it'll be interesting to see uh, where these abilities play into the gameplay. You know, I, I have a feeling that uh, vehicles like the ET uh, phone home is going to kind of interact with very specific things in the uh, adventure worlds and, and story modes, uh, similar to like how the ghost trap or, or the or the or the TARDIS uh, interacted and, and unlocked very specific uh, gold bricks and such. So um, or mini kits. So it's I think it's a I think it's a gorgeous gorgeously simple design for that phone home in terms of Lego mini kits. I think it's really, really beautiful. I, I'm, I'm excited for this pack a lot. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Watched ET not long ago and still still holds up. Lots of fun. Definitely want to check out the original edit if you can. I see Maddie jumped in live stream. Um, Abe wants to know if Jay is the only exclusive so far that we that we know of a Toys R Us um, and potentially Marceline. Uh, SGN wants to know, uh, is asking about Indiana Jones. We don't have info on Indiana Jones. A lot of us feel like maybe that'll be a year three kind of things. I mean, Indiana Jones, something like they, that. They've, they've made plenty of, of, of announcements that they are working hard at getting Disney on board into the Lego dimensions thing now. So uh, it's a lot of, a lot of hints have been dropped. So. All right, let's see. We've been talking about gremlins a lot. So let's look at the official packaging here for the, uh, uh, Gremlins team pack, which is is great. I'm glad that they put both of these, you know, all together, so you don't have to like chase down, you know, Striper Gizmo separately. We got the Polaroid camera. Uh, they don't like the flashes, <laughs> you know, nope. um, and the and the car. Um, I wonder if there's a way to somehow get Gizmo in the car. If it, it looks like, yeah, it looks like there's a couple notches yeah. there. Oh yeah, he can front. he can sit inside of it for sure. There's already been a few pictures. Oh, so okay. that's that's the RC racer, and that uh, rebuilds into the Gadget Omatic and the Scarlet Scorpion. So it'll be interesting to see uh, um, what what kind of abilities and skills those guys have, and uh, and then the the. A stripes vehicle is the uh, flash and finish and that rebuilds into the rampage record player and then finally stripes throne nice nice and it looks like uh it looks like gizmo's got some food in his hand there is that is that a good thing or a bad thing oh my goodness dude don't feed them after midnight man <laughs> don't get them wet uh, there's a really great built-in easter egg that if you feed gizmo the uh, scooby snack he will turn into stripe he will turn into an egg and then hatch into a gremlin uh, yes. this, it looks very much like stripe we haven't seen that in action yet so that'll be fun once, uh, once they, that they, gets... they dropped it in one or two of the streams in uh, comic uh, e3 so oh, anyway, okay. we've seen it we've seen they've seen them do it a little bit but yeah uh, let's see. Oliver's in chat says hi. Brickster zero zero zero. Disney would be hard to make packs because there are a lot of them. Well, you know, there's you know we chip away one pack at a time. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, so here's a look at the uh, Marceline Fun Pack with her guitar and big giant amp. And what kind of things does this uh, transform into, or I don't know, transforms yeah, that, and rebuilds the, uh, into? Yeah, that's the Lunatic amp, and I think it's a really cool design. I think uh, I, I, some of these mini kits are so freaking cool. But that uh, that uh, Lunatic amp transforms into the Shadow Scorpion and the Heavy Metal Monster. So uh, there are lots and lots of scorpions. This is the third scorpion re rebuild that I've actually am aware of for year two. I don't know what the deal is with the whole scorpion thing, but. <laughs> So gamers have in, in chat is asking what what the item is from all the scene, and you you've already answered that. Abe says in chat, spoiler alert. I guess he's talking about maybe the the Gizmo thing. So yeah, if you guys are watching this, maybe some spoilers. We are talking news and uh, information, and uh, here's a look at the Sonic uh, level pack as well. So the level pack. Let's talk about the pricing. So level pack is what twenty five dollars. 
Yeah, I mean, boy, every retailer likes to put whatever <laughs> price they want to put on it, so it's kind of tricky. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I believe that they said that fun packs have dropped in price this year, and they're going to be around 12 13 bucks, 13 uh, and versus the 15 16 that they were uh, for year one. Uh, and then your team packs uh, work their way up to, like, around 20 uh, 25 ish and then level packs are about uh, 30 35 ish depending on where you're uh, shopping so and then the the story pack will be 50 bucks but uh but yeah yes yes every time i show a sonic image and Ch chad blows up we got sean and uh, gamers haven they're excited about some sonic and abe yeah, as well yeah, yeah. And so the Sonic is going to include like the Green Hill, Emerald Coast, Labyrinth, like so many awesome worlds in this in this level pack that I'm super excited about. And it's classic Sonic. And uh, and from the gameplay, it looks very side scroller ish, uh, reminiscent of the um, All Your Bricks Are Belong to Us level of, of the Year One Fun Pack. So I'm excited to see kind of what they do with that. And then um, since we've already mentioned it, the uh, the Sonic Speedster will rebuild into the Blue Typhoon and the Moto Bug, and then the the Tornado will rebuild into the crab meat and egg catcher uh, so there's a lot of uh, great homage paid to some of the classic robots in some of these rebuilds which i'm excited for from the sonic uh, franchise all right and my last two images uh or the uh, product product box or packs for the uh, fantastic beasts we got uh, tina here Yep, we got Tina with the swooping evil. And uh, if you want to see what these rebuilds look like, visit uh, BricksToLife.com because Rob took some awesome pictures and sent them to me, and we've got the back-of-the-box look at these two uh, packs. But the swooping evil um, rebuilds into the uh, brutal bloom and the crawling creeper. And uh, Tina's really cool because she's got some spells that we haven't seen before uh, in Lego, you know, worlds. So she can cast uh, like Aguamenti and uh, Protego and stuff like that. She's more of a defensive character versus Newt, who is an offensive character. So it, it, I, I like how they're expanding upon the gameplay of these figures to uh, give a little bit more life to the to the uh, uh, or, or strategy, I should say, to some of the gameplay. Yes, yes, that well, that helps, especially if you're spending some some extra coin. I see uh, Tom Cravens in chat. Shout outs to you. Uh, let's see, William Clark says he can't wait for Sonic and Toy Movie Game Bros was actually at the Comic Con checking out some of the stuff at at Comic Con. They actually had uh, let's see, let me get me back up. They had uh, a, a big giant Lego booth, and in the corner you can play hands on with uh, Lego Dimensions. But when I whenever I went over there, it was like a lot of the characters that we had sort of already seen from E3, and then some of these other things that we're seeing were kind of in a case at the Warner, booth, Warner Brothers booth. Um, so let me see, I, got, I think I have one more image. There we go. So now it's a product uh, the, for the Fantastic Beasts there. Uh, we're gonna get to build, how, do, how does this work? We've got this big giant doorway castle. What's, what's the story with that, Dan, for those who don't know? Yeah, so they've, they've, these are now new portal builds uh, that will replace the, the round gray portal that uh, came with your original uh, story pack, if we want to call that year one story pack. Uh, and, uh, and so that's the, that's the MAC USA, the Magical Congress of the United States of America. I believe that those are the doorways to it with the big golden wings, which is uh, pretty rad. And then it comes with Niffler, and uh, the Niffler can be uh, rebuilt into the Sinister Scorpion and the Vicious Vulture. And they, they've already dropped some hints about some of the spells that uh, uh, Newt will be able to cast, such as Defendo, Reparo, and Lumos. Lumos is my favorite. So he, I think he's casting Lumos right there on the cover of the box. So uh, uh, very, very cool. I'm super excited for this pack. I think it's going to be tons of fun. I love the magical world. Harry Potter Lego games are my, some of my favorite Lego games. So I really can't wait to see what they do with this for sure. I'm looking to see if they if he's got like a briefcase or anything like that, and it's not in the hand in this photo. I wonder if he's going to have a little briefcase. I'm sure it will be. Uh, I'm sure it'll be in his pause animation, but I doubt that it, uh, he's got a wand. That's what he's kind of got with his minifigure. So uh, all right, well that's that's it on my photos. So um, also we got to see a, a trailer for the Lego Batman movie, and we know that there's going to be a Lego Batman um, expansion. Is that a, a level pack? What do we know so story far? Story pack. About That'll be a story pack. pack. Okay. So I'm very excited, and I've, a lot of people have like uh, uh, raised their voice about this and asked like who's going to come within whatnot, and uh, they make a lot of effort in the in Lego Dimensions, you know, year one to differentiate Lego movie Batman from Lego uh, world Batman. Uh, and so um, the Lego world Batman from like the Lego movie, um, uh, it's a totally different Batman than the one that's in year one 
uh, packaging. So uh, I'm pretty sure that that story pack will come with the Bat Cave as a rebuild for the portal, and then of course uh, probably a Batman, a, a, Le- a, a Lego Movie Batman uh, uh, minifigure. So. And also, and also, we're gonna get a Robin, right? Uh, Abe is asking if we're gonna get a Robin. So yeah, we're gonna get a Robin figure, right? It'll be interesting to see what they do, to be entirely honest with you, because I don't know if they're – I highly doubt they're going to do a Robin Lego movie and a Robin Team Titan. So I'm, I'm very interested to see how they go and how they, how they handle that and how, and how it works. So we'll see. Well, one, one will have glasses and one won't have glasses, it seems like. You know, two different very different thing. looks, though. Two very, very different looks in terms of Robins. So, yeah. can, uh, you do, can you do the hair, the Lego? Like, it looks like Lego Robin's going to have, like, anime hair kind of, you know, shooting over to the side there. You, you got some gel in your hair kind of going a little sideways there. Yeah, no, I, I've got a – not gel, man. It's, it's some styling mud, I think. It's styling, <laughs> styling clay. <laughs> <laughs> Some styling clay. What am, what am I in high school? I'm not gelling my hair. No, I'm just, I'm just giving it time. <laughs> um, so what else? Uh, okay, so that's kind of what we know so far with some Lego Batman. I, first of all, I'm just very excited. That trailer, the Lego Batman trailer, uh, you know, that came out. That and Wonder, and Wonder Woman. I know we're not really talking about like trailers and movies and stuff, but that and Wonder Woman trailer were like my two favorite. Just Dan, let me throw to you. Do you have a couple standout trailers? From the yeah. Comic Con, I I really I had a lot of hope with the with the um, with the Justice League trailer they dropped. I thought the the Kong trailer was great. The new Magic uh, Fantastic Beast trailer, the Wonder Woman trailer, the Lego ba- and all of them. There's so many great uh, uh, Doctor Strange trailer. Just so much great stuff came out of this year's Comic Con. It was really really exciting to see, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's always. Uh, I've been going to Comic Con for a long time, and it's always great to see like all the news and the hype get you get you buzzing. Um, you know, the only thing is now we got to wait till sort of things happen, you know, because it's like summertime, and you know, it's, it's kind of mellow. So, so um, we're gonna wrap it up in just a second. But Dan, you know, wants to share some some news or information. Oh about well, we didn't news. talk about the one thing that they dropped at the Comic Con panel is that a Hermione Fun Pack has been unofficially announced, thanks to I think Arthur dropping that hint a little too earlier, a little bit earlier than he was supposed to. So we definitely have confirmation that Hermione Fun Pack is coming. Ah, uh, okay. So that'll, that'll be pretty cool. Um, and and then they also kind of inadvertently confirmed that the Goonies pack will be a level pack. So it will be a Goonies level pack, uh, which is pretty cool. So that's been confirmed as well. So gotcha, I'm very, very gotcha. excited for that. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, as Rob was expertly leading me in, leading into, because he's the man when it comes to this stuff, uh, if on my site, we're giving away – at the Comic-Con panel, they gave away a, um, a Green Arrow. I've got an extra one. I'm going to give it away. So uh, we're currently giving that away, brickslife.com slash giveaway. And um, you can enter to grab a uh, my extra Green Arrow and uh, play with him inside of LEGO Dimensions. He's playable right now, which is pretty cool, I think. So. Yeah, actually I actually have some gameplay, and I, and I think – do you have some gameplay of uh, up on your channel? Yep, 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 I do. And – uh, and uh, Abe is in the chat asking about Supergirl. Um, even the, uh, Arthur and Jim, the two game directors of Lego Dimensions, don't even know what they're doing with all those Supergirl with the Supergirl. Uh, there's been a lot of there's been a bit of rumor that it might be included uh, with like um, new starter packs. Like if you buy a starter pack, you get one. I'm not we no idea about Supergirl. So Abe's asked it like about her like seven times. Abe, calm <laughs> down, man. Calm, calm down. down. Don't I'm, troll the chat room with multiple I'm t- questions. I'm talking over here Girls. to the to the chat, but I'm like but, but I'm like it should be over. Calm down, Abe. All right. Yeah. She's, she's she'll be coming soon. Uh but um but yeah, no no official word yet even still. If you guys are Supergirl fans, I interviewed the voice of Supergirl from Injustice 2, Laura Bailey, which is on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash TV, so you can watch that in the meantime as a wait for Supergirl news. Uh, I was not able to attend the panel. It was Sunday. I was already back in L.A. editing videos, editing pictures, articles. Um, it's really strange that there was a big giant panel with reveals <laughs> on a Sunday. I wasn't live streamed, so we're just kind of finding out little trickles of information from guys like Dan and uh, you know the toys to gaming and you know all these uh, all these other guys all these other cats you know finding out the news. Yeah, there's a couple of great people in the audience that were live tweeting everything that was going on. So um, so some very cool uh, 
lots of great cool news and and uh, but yeah it's Sunday afternoon no live stream what are you gonna do there really wasn't a ton of new stuff that came out of that they were kind of like reintroduced Sonic um, for those people who weren't available for like the Sonic party uh, but the really the big news we got was the leak about Hermione and um, and then otherwise it was really just a celebration and, and a couple of new trailers of stuff that we've kind of seen but and, and we're new about, but haven't really seen the official stuff. And I'm sure the next week or so, those trailers will be released on the Lego Dimensions site. So, uh, you know, there wasn't really anything super impressive about the panel in terms of newsworthy stuff, but they did drop some hints and little stuff here and there. I'm in the process of writing an article about it right now. So, all right, we'll look. We'll look out for that recap. I see Sean in, in chat is saying, "I wish Shape or Dumbledore would come to Lego Dimensions." Is there any rumors that Dumbledore will be in uh, Fantastic Beasts? Is that uh, can we get a young Dumbledore figure? Fantastic I'm, Beasts. I'm holding out hope that young Dumbledore will, in fact, appear in um, in Fantastic Beasts. I, I think that that is. I think that they're keeping quiet on it at the moment, but I think that it will, in fact, happen. Uh, we don't. I just have a. They gotta. They have to connect it to the other movies in some way, in some minor little way. And I think it might just be a passing cameo, but I think that he'll definitely be in it. So at least my guess. But um, who knows? Who knows what's gonna come our way? I think that we'll probably see a Dumbledore uh, pack. There's no. But you've got to see Ron too. So I don't know if we're gonna get like a team pack of Dumbledore and Ron, uh, and Hermione will come in a fun pack. I don't know if we'll get three fun packs for uh, Harry Potter. Ron. Hermione and Dumbledore. I just can't see how you can't put Dumbledore in the game somewhere. You know what I mean? I'm sure the interactions between him and Gandalf would be priceless. So how can you not? You know? <laughs> now those watching uh, live stream, uh, Abe, who's in chat, uh, me and Abe are going to do a little Pokemon Go live stream uh, probably Wednesday or something like that. So uh, Dan, you can jump in the chat and uh, heckle Abe and get some revenge. Oh, I will. Ask him about Squirtle or what team he's on or something I'll like that. I'll be giving him such a hard time for sure. <laughs> so thanks a bunch all you guys watching. I was away for a few days, but I'm back, back to live streaming. I'm going to put links to Dan's uh, Twitter, his website, his uh, YouTube and all that in the uh, – description below on the archive thanks a bunch dan for uh you know filling us in on lego dimension hype we got some we save up your money is all i can say be good be i mean be good so that mom dad read your christmas list and santa because it's going to be another expensive year for the toys to life stuff <laughs> yeah it's going to be lots of lots of lots and lots of money <laughs> my wallet's already crying <laughs> All right, you guys, take care, and uh, probably see you again tomorrow for some live streaming for CoinMTV. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.